Hello, my name is Frances Smith. I'm a DVM PhD and a diplomate of the American College of Theriogenology. My interest in dogs is primarily in Labrador Retrievers, and I've been a Labrador Retriever breeder since 1970 under the kennel name Danik. I currently serve as a director of the LRC Inc., which is the parent club for the Labrador Retriever Club, and was just yesterday elected as vice president. I have been on the board a very long time. I also serve as the health chairperson for the Labrador Retriever. And as an aside, I'm also the president of the Orthopedic Foundation for Animals, which is the world's largest animal health database system. But today we're going to talk primarily about Labradors and their health. And we're fortunate as people who love Labradors because as a breed, they are very healthy. Now, for those of you who wonder, there are tests that you should be doing whether you want to breed your dog or compete with your dog in any venue. So let's first talk about orthopedic disease in the Labrador. The Labrador Retriever is prone to hip dysplasia and elbow dysplasia, both of which are inherited regardless of what you might have been told. There are environmental influences on those, but the diseases are inherited. And the best way to make sure that you have normal hips and normal elbows is to have radiographs taken of those joints at two years of age or older. Now, as a breeder, I do what is called preliminary radiographs on my young dogs earlier because I have a number of dogs to deal with and I wanna make sure the dogs I devote my extra energy, time, and money to are in fact orthopedically sound. So hips and elbows are absolutely necessary. Labradors also are prone due to their activity level, but here we have a disease that is traumatic to cruciate rupture because we're the number one breed in the United States in registration and have been for 20 years. If you were to ask any veterinary surgical specialist what breed has the most ruptured cruciates. It would be Labradors, not because they're hereditary, but because we have more Labradors and they're more athletic. So let's, we'll get that out of the way right away. As far as other eye clearances, it is important to have your Labrador's eyes examined annually in the case of a breeding dog for any hereditary eye disease. Eye diseases are, in general, developmental, meaning the dogs are born with normal eyes and develop the disease processes later on. And we only have genetic tests for one Labrador eye disease, and that is for PRCD. That's a PRCD form of PRA. That's a disease in which the rods and cones on the retina degenerate and a dog that starts out seeing normally ultimately becomes blind. We do have a gene test for that disease. Other tests that you want to do on Labradors for health include a test for exercise-induced collapse and a test for a centronuclear myopathy. Both of these are neuromuscular diseases. Both of them have a gene test for them. It's a simple cheek swab. The test is inexpensive, and both diseases are inherited as, again, simple autosomal recessive. There won't be a test with this, but that means the dog gets the gene for the disease from both parents in order to be affected, and that's important to know. So simple screening tests. How about if you're not going to do any breeding? Do you need to do those tests? Whether you want to hunt your dog, whether you want to field trial your dog, do agility or obedience, you want to make sure that they are visually from a muscular standpoint and orthopedically sound because in doing what we enjoy with our dogs, we don't want to put them in harm's way or inappropriately correct for what we consider a refusal when is actually it's a physical problem of the dog itself.